All right, so what I've got here is just a basic like construction capacity management uh, workspace template. And this is set up as filtering by assignees right now. You can also filter it by status. Um, and there's a number of other ways you can filter as well. Due date, tags, uh, which is a whole other set of functions. And then you can actually create a number of custom fields to sort by too. So what I've got here is start date, due date, uh, comments, any updates on the task. This is where you might want to store photos of the work as it gets completed. Total time and status, so you know how long the project's been there. I just populated this up a few minutes ago, so you can see they're all pretty short. Then time tracked, and that you can just enter manually to track the time on the task. Um, you can have a time estimate, and the way this is set up right now, one task is one project. Uh, so you'll see here this big project, they have multiple pieces, and each piece has its individual estimate, which then rolls up to the big project. Uh, what else have I got in here? So I've got time estimates. I've got project locations that connects to the map view, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then I also have the value of the project and the materials cost and could add in a profit calculator uh, if you need it as well or I guess uh, just gross profit uh, before time. So then looking at the map here, we've got all of the different tasks assigned and set up to the different places throughout the city. We've got a calendar view that's going to actually capture the tasks. There we are. And so you can see some of them are running on, some of them are short. And you can also filter that down to four days, or you could do a week view. So you can change that up. And then probably more valuable, what I think most people end up going to, is a uh, Gantt chart. And so this will show off when each project is running, who is on it, and then you can see all the statuses here uh, on the side as well and check out each individual component or edit them. For many people using ClickUp in this way, the Gantt chart is one of the most valuable views, as is the workload, which you can move to one week, two weeks, or a month. Uh, you get all your tasks. These are unscheduled tasks on the side here and then anything that you don't have estimates for, and anything overdue as well. And so these unscheduled tasks are still assigned, but if we look down here, here are the unassigned tasks. Uh, as you can see, big project is unassigned, and normally I would put like a team lead around that, somebody who's probably got to be there all the time. So then if we look in here, you can see no capacity on weekends, We've got how much of their time is being spent each day. So, okay, this is a two-day project. Uh, this is a small project. They've got two days on it, and it's going to take two hours each day. Uh, you could definitely schedule that as one day, and let's try that. So let's go in here. We're going to go Wednesday to Wednesday. Boom. And we're going to narrow this one just to the eighth. And let's actually bump these time estimates up. That one's going to be six hours. This one's going to be eight hours. So then if we look back over here, we'll see, oh, full on that day for that eight-hour task. And only at six hours, still a little capacity left. I mean, you can actually edit their weekly or daily capacity. Um, and edit it by day as well. So if you've got somebody who's working a part-time schedule, uh, you'll be able to set it up for that. And that is my super simple uh, walkthrough.